There are certain spirits that are essential to a bar. One of those, in my opinion, is bourbon. Bourbon is an American-made spirit that is 51 or more percent corn, typically. This differentiates itself from Irish whiskeys, scotch, and rye, uh, based off what it is mostly. Bourbon is most popular from Kentucky, but it can come from anywhere in America. Today, I'm going to show you how to use this lovely spirit. I have two here today that I'm going to use, but if you don't have Woodford or Treaty Oak, I'd also recommend Buffalo Trace. Those three, I'd say, are reasonably priced and have a lot of great flavor that will really enhance the cocktails that we're going to make today. All right. Let's stop talking and do some mixing. The first cocktail we're going to be making today is a classic among classics known as the Old Fashioned. The Old Fashioned is essentially one of the original cocktails that could have been considered a cocktail. The original definition for the word cocktail was any spirit mixed with sugar, water, and bitters. And that's the exact recipe for the Old Fashioned. All right, let's go on ahead and get going. We'll start off with two bar spoons of a brown simple syrup. A lot of places use white. I use brown because it adds a lot of flavor, in my opinion. Next up, we're gonna do a dash of soda water. This is gonna help uh, dissolve the sugar in the simple syrup and really make sure that it gets spread evenly throughout the cocktail. Next up, four dashes of Angostura bitters. And finally, our bourbon. About two ounces, but that's give or take. Some places do two and a half. Doesn't matter. Nice big rock in there. Mix that up. Finally, for garnish, we're going to do two things. We're going to start off with an orange peel. but we're also going to supplement that with a lemon peel. And there you have cocktail number one, the old fashioned. Cocktail number two, we have the Kentucky Derby Classic known as the Mint Julep. This one is very simple in theory. First thing we're going to want to do is strip this mint, put the bottom leaves in here. Then we are going to coat those in simple syrup. Then we're just going to do a light muddle. And we're trying to not let the mint leaves get vegetative, but we're trying to really release the essence inside. Next up, two ounces of our bourbon. And we're going to top that up with crushed ice. And we're going to do a technique known as a swizzle where we stir it with the crushed ice very lightly. And finally, just top all that with more crushed ice. Take the top mint leaves, do that as a little garnish. And I don't know where this um, tradition started, but it is traditional to top your mint juleps with a little bit of dark rum. Typically Jamaican, but Bermuda, 
Gosling's is what I have on hand. So there you guys go. Cocktail number two, the mint julep. The next cocktail we're making is called a Boulevardier. What it is, is it's a bourbon take on a Negroni. What can be better than that? All right, this cocktail is very simple in the recipe. One and a half ounces of bourbon. One ounce of Campari. And half an ounce sweet vermouth. Shake it for a good 8 to 10 seconds. And it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't forget something. And you're going to take a chilled coupe glass and just pour that right in. The Campari gives it a lovely red color that I just can't get enough of. And I'm actually going to garnish this with a lemon wheel. Just like that. And there you have cocktail number three, the Boulevardier. Cocktail number four, we have the Whiskey Basil Smash. This is a very popular cocktail, um, at least in the list that I've seen. So this is actually a really interesting one. We're going to start off with some lemon. We're going to put four half quarters of a lemon Peel side down in your muddler and follow that with some basil. This basil is very special because I lovingly grew it in my garden. Then you're going to coat those in a little bit of simple syrup to help break down. Then you're just going to muddle. You really don't want to press the basil too much. You just want to muddle until all the juice is expressed from the lemon. Alright, with that done, we're going to add two ounces of our bourbon. And shake it up. And this is going to be a quick shake and dump drink. And I'm going to top this drink off with some crushed ice. Make that little snow cone on top. And then use the rest of these basil leaves as a quick garnish, similar to the mint julep. There you have cocktail number four, the Bourbon Basil Smash. Cocktail number five, we have the Gold Rush. Now what makes this cocktail special is the use of honey syrup instead of regular simple syrup. So let's go on ahead and get to building this bad boy. So we're going to do about three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup. About an ounce of lemon juice and two ounces of our bourbon. So 
So, what you'll notice about cocktails that use honey as a syrup is you tend to get a little bit of foam and body on top. And that's something special that really only comes from honey syrup or pineapple juice. Drop our rock of ice in there. And there you have cocktail number five. Our penultimate cocktail today is a really simple one that I think is super refreshing called the Whiskey Sour. Now, the, while they didn't start this way, recently it's become tradition to make your Whiskey Sours with an egg white. So, we're going to take the egg white and put it in the big tin. Now we can build our cocktail in the small one. We're gonna do half an ounce of simple syrup, a full ounce of lemon juice, and of course, the star attraction, two ounces of our bourbon. Since we have an egg white in this cocktail, we're gonna start off with a dry shake. This is where you shake with no ice. It really gets the egg starting to emulsify and it makes it safer to drink in the end. You don't have to dry shake for quite as long as a regular shake. You just wanna get the egg going. I did it too long. Anyways, if you do it successfully, you should have a good froth in the egg. I don't know if you can see that. So once you have that, you're going to take a big rock of ice that you've tempered, which means you've let it sit out for a little bit, and you're going to shake with that. So the reason we use a big rock of ice for a cocktail like this, A, is because the way my dad likes it, he likes it over just one rock. So it's easier to do the shake and dump. But B, it's because that way, you reduce the amount of ice shards that are in the shaker that can break up the foam that you built with that egg white. And with that, we have cocktail number six, the Whiskey Sour. For those that know me, you know that I always save room for dessert, and I always save the most complicated for last. This is what's known as a New York Flip, which is a bourbon take on a brandy flip. This cocktail could be considered a dessert drink because of how rich it is. So let's get into it. We're going to put a whole egg in this one. Not just the egg white, a whole egg. As well as some heavy cream. And then in this separate tin, we're going to do two ounces of our bourbon. Half an ounce of simple syrup. We're gonna dry shake this again. You really wanna make sure that you break up that egg in this one. Similar to a Ramos Gin Fizz. All right, it's coming together. Now that we have that, we're gonna take one big rock, similar to the whiskey sour, put it in that tin, and keep shaking. Now there is an inherent risk with any cocktail that uses egg white or a whole egg. Obviously, there's a risk of salmonella. I've been making cocktails for a while now, 
and I've been making cocktails with egg in it for most of that time and I've never had anybody get sick, but I do want to at least bring up that there is an inherent risk. All right, this puppy is done. Take a nice glass and we are going to just strain it straight into there. And what I like to do is I like to throw a little dust because I think it just adds that last bit of flavor that the cocktail loves. And I just swirl it around a little bit before I give it to the customer. And it gets this almost nebula shape in the cinnamon when you do that. So there it is, cocktail number seven, the New York Flip. Bourbon is such a beautiful product with so many great cocktails. Obviously, I couldn't show them all in one video. So I will say, if you enjoyed this video, please comment down below what spirit I should go over next. And let me know if I should do a part two on bourbon ones once I get a couple more under my belt. Until then, I say unto you all, cheers and have a blessed evening.